So with this understanding of this mechanism of bioluminescence, the following question is, why? Why insect, why firefly will go ahead, go in, involve themselves into this complicated biochemical reaction? What is the biological function of bioluminescence? <clears throat> so more and more research point the function of bioluminescence to animal communication. And scientists discover that not all fireflies glow, not all fireflies produce bioluminescence. But if they do, if some, only some do, but if they do, they started in the larvae, in the very juvenile stage. So what is the signal this juvenile, this larvae stage of the firefly communicating? Why they want to expose themselves in the dark by glowing? So this is a question asked by Dr. Mark Graham, and he actually noticed the glowing bugs, and he put one of the glowing fireflies between his lips. He wanted to taste what they taste like. And immediately, he f his lip become numb, and he have this very revolting feeling. And uh, here is the picture showing how Dr. Graham will react. Oh. So pretty bad. So that reaction is the effect of a chemical compound secreted by this firefly on his to his body. And this compound is called lucibifagens. And this compound is actually a very potent chemical defense system of the firefly. So as soon as they were born in the larvae, they will have this lucibifagens and as well as the glowing fluorescence. So there's a hypothesis connecting this chemical defense system with this bioluminescence glowing reaction. Could be the defense system of this firefly against the predators as if they're telling the predators when they see this glowing for instance, say, hey, if you try, if you attempt to contact me or attack me, you might be regretted because of the chemical compound on the surface of their body. So this behavior, this phenomenon is known as apothematic display, using this uh, signal to convey a message to deter predators. This is the juvenile reacts. As they grow into adult, the signal is very different. It's actually a signal for courting and mating. In the summer night, all of these fire, uh, fireflies, the male fireflies, will fly and flash at the frequency, as a specific frequency. Each species has a specific frequency to communicate with the females. And the female will use a unique, very specific response, flash to attract her mate. So the frequency, the intensity of the flashing is a signal for mating. So that's come with a, a different message uh, for courtship. But if a firefly species cannot produce its lucibufagens chemical defense system, and this, this species, the female fortress, can actually fake the flash of another species to attract the male of another species. When she get hold of this other species, she actually consume him to get the loose bufagens. So in other words, the female will trick the other species male to become her food to get this chemical protection compound. So this is called a famous fatalis, the a fatal attraction in fireflies. So you can tell the function of bioluminescence is very diverse, but very important to the survival of the species and to the reproduction of the species, all involved in the behavior of animal communication, all due to the long term of selection and uh, evolution. So it is an evolved behavior to adapt to this hostile environment to protect 
to survive and to, to reproduce. So now we know the delicate control, a delicate reaction of this flashing, but how exactly Firefly control the flashing pattern? And Dr. Trimmer et al. discovered the model called nitric oxide control of the Firefly flash. So this is the uh, design of the uh, model. So this is the photocyte, a cell in the uh, abdomen of the firefly where the bioluminescence reaction occur in the peroxomes, in the organelle. And this is the mitochondria organelle that produce energies. When there's no need to flash, the oxygen will be consumed by mitochondria and mitochondria will convert oxygen and synthesize into ATP molecules and use for the synthesis of d -luciferin. But once there is a need to produce flor flash and fluorescence, uh, luminescence, the nerve cells will react by securing a signal called octopamine. Octopamine will induce the synthesis of nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a diffusible gas. Very small molecule can be diffused into the mitochondria and block the consumption of oxygen. So if oxygen will not be consumed by mitochondria, the oxygen will be going directly into the pyroxome and used by the luciferase to convert the luciferin into oxyluciferin and then release the, in the form of light. So this is a model <coughs> discovered by Dr. Trimmer how fireflies through the nerve system to control the flashing pattern. Okay, so bioluminescence can be used to, for animal to survive, to reproduce. And recently, scientists also discovered that we can use the bioluminescence gene. Right? Dr. Jerkins had used this luciferase expressing gene to detect the primary and secondary tumor size using this known as bioluminescence imaging technique. And Dr. Lieb and colleagues and using the modified herpes viral genome with firefly lucifer gene and study the mice immune response to herpes viral infection in real time. So in other words, bioluminescence not only provide communication tool for fireflies, they actually can be used in human medicine to make disease glow away. So if it turned out that Caravaggio indeed used a crushed firefly in his uh, painting of his masterpieces, then there'll be a the f probably the first bridge to bridge between art and science in 400 years ago, as well as the first application of the animal behavior in human art. So in summary, we can say, Bioluminescence is the chemistry of life, is evolving animal behavior for survival and reproduction. It definitely also enlightens, enlighten, enlightens our sense, our being, and our world. Bioluminescence.